In 1901, divers found a rock. But inside was a machine. A machine from a lost world. That took a century of modern science to understand. It was a computer built 2,000 years before its time. But who made it, and why was its knowledge lost? This is the story of a single object that rewrote history. Echoes of Genius, the anti kathera Mechanism. Chapter 1, The Discovery. In the heart of the Aegean Sea lies a small, rocky island, anti kathera For centuries, it was just a landmark for sailors, but beneath the waves, it held a secret that would rewrite history. In the year 1900, a team of Greek sponge divers, blown off course by a violent storm, took shelter in its shallow waters. When the storm passed, a diver named Elias Stadiados was sent down to search for sponges, wearing the primitive, heavy, and dangerous diving equipment of the era. But what he found on the seabed was not what he was looking for. He surfaced, terrified, babbling of a heap of naked, dead bodies on the ocean floor. The captain, believing the diver was hallucinating from the pressure, went down to sea for himself. He found a ghostly wreck of a massive Roman cargo ship, lost to the world for 2,000 years. The dead bodies were not human remains, but something far more valuable. They were one of the greatest hordes of ancient treasure ever found. Magnificent bronze and marble statues, masterpieces of the classical world. For months, the divers and the Greek government worked to recover the priceless cargo a treasure trove that would fill an entire wing of the National Museum and among the beautiful statues and elegant glassware. They found this, a shapeless, corroded lump of bronze mistaken for a piece of rock or wood. It was unremarkable, ignored, almost thrown back into the sea as worthless junk. The artifacts were brought to the National Archaeological Museum in Athens where scholars began the long process of cleaning and cataloging the spectacular find. And for two years, the bronze lump sat in the museum's storeroom, a forgotten footnote to a famous discovery. Then, one day in 1902, as it dried from its centuries underwater, the corroded casing cracked and fell apart in an archaeologist's hands. And what was revealed inside was impossible. Not a statue, not a rock, but a complex mechanism of interlocking precision gear wheels. The team was stunned into silence. Nothing like this had ever been found from the ancient world. According to the history books, it simply should not exist. The gears had fine triangular teeth, like the inside of a sophisticated Swiss watch. Engineered with a precision they believed was not invented for another 1,500 years, it was a piece of advanced technology from the future, discovered in a wreck from the distant past. The team had no frame of reference. Was it a navigational tool? A clock? Some kind of astronomical device? No one knew. All they knew for certain was that they had discovered an object that challenged everything they thought they knew about the genius of the ancient world. The artifact was given a name, the anti kathera Mechanism. And for the next 50 years, its true purpose would remain one of history's greatest and most profound mysteries. Chapter 2. The Ghost in the Machine For decades, the anti kathera mechanism remained a profound enigma, a collection of corroded fragments that sat in the Athens Museum, defying all explanation. Early researchers could only study its surface, guessing at the complexity they knew must be hidden within. They understood it was important, but they had no way to truly see inside. That would all change at the dawn of the 21st century. A new international team of scientists was assembled. Armed with technology, the original discoverers could never have dreamed of. The fragile, priceless fragments were placed inside advanced X-ray and CT scanners. Powerful machines designed to peer inside the corroded bronze without ever touching it. And for the first time, in stunning detail, scientists saw the ghost in the machine. A ghostly digital image of the gears, perfectly preserved inside their 2,000-year-old shell. They discovered a level of miniaturization and precision that was simply breathtaking. Dozens of gears, 
with triangular teeth as fine as those in a modern mechanical watch. By taking thousands of high-resolution scan slices, they were able to digitally deconstruct the device, layer by layer, revealing its incredibly complex internal architecture. What they found would rewrite the history of technology. It was a machine more complex, more sophisticated than any other known device for the next thousand years. The scans even revealed what was invisible to the naked eye, thousands of tiny, faint Greek characters inscribed on its surfaces, a hidden user's manual. This manual confirmed the device's purpose, describing a cosmos in a box and using advanced astronomical terms that proved its scientific sophistication. All of this immense data was fed into powerful computers, which began the monumental task of digitally reassembling the ancient puzzle. Slowly, a virtual model of the original machine began to take shape on the screen, as software fit the digital pieces together, one by one. Scientists and engineers could now manipulate the virtual gears, solving mechanical puzzles that had stumped researchers for a century. And when the puzzle was complete, what they had was astonishing, a fully working model of an ancient Greek analog computer. By turning a single knob on the side, the entire system of over 30 gears would come to life, moving in perfect, complex harmony. The front dials accurately displayed the positions of the sun, the moon, and the five planets known to the ancient Greeks, all set against the signs of the zodiac. While the intricate back dials functioned as a sophisticated calendar, capable of predicting both solar and lunar eclipses with stunning precision decades in advance. It even contained a differential gear train and incredibly advanced piece of engineering thought to have been invented. 1,500 years later to accurately model the subtle variations in the moon's orbit. This was not a simple clock or astrolabe. It was a mechanical cosmos. The world's first known analog computer crafted by the forgotten genius of ancient Greece. The corroded rock found by a sponge diver had finally revealed its secret. The ghost in the machine was a masterpiece of science, a lost echo of genius. Chapter 3. The Echo of Archimedes To understand the machine, we must first understand the world that created it. This was not the Athens of Plato, but the Hellenistic AJA time of immense wealth great libraries and soaring scientific ambition in centers of learning like Rhodes and the Great Library of Alexandria. All the knowledge of the ancient world was gathered, debated, and advanced. Hellenistic astronomers were patient observers of the heavens, meticulously charting the movements of the stars, believing that the universe was a place of divine mathematical order. One of the greatest of these was Hipparchus of Rhodes, often called the father of astronomy. He created the first comprehensive star catalog and calculated the length of the year with incredible accuracy. He also developed complex geometric models to explain the strange, wandering paths of the planet's theories so advanced they would form the mathematical basis of the mechanism. In fact, the gear trains inside the Antikythera mechanism seem to be a direct, physical translation of Hipparchus's astronomical theories. He is a prime suspect, as its designer. But there was another, even more legendary genius from that era, Archimedes of Syracuse, the greatest mathematician and engineer of the ancient world. He was a master of creating mechanical marvels automatons, levers, and planetariums that mirrored the natural world. The Roman writer Cicero even described a specific bronze device built by Archimedes that, when turned, perfectly modeled the motions of the sun, the moon, and the five known planets. The creation of such a device would have required more than just a brilliant mind. It needed a master workshop, a place where theoretical knowledge met brilliant craftsmanship. Each of the dozens of gears had to be cut from a sheet of bronze and then filed by hand, with each of the thousands of teeth shaped with a level of precision that is difficult to achieve even today. The raw materials were cast and the components were shaped with simple tools all guided by an unparalleled intuitive understanding of mechanics. Assembling the complex, layered gear train would have been like solving a three-dimensional astronomical puzzle, 
It's a miniature, mechanical universe where every piece had to fit perfectly. And behind it all was the mathematics. Complex calculations were needed to create the precise gear ratios that would flawlessly replicate the cycles of the cosmos. This was not an object for the common man. It was an expensive, high-status masterpiece, likely commissioned by a wealthy merchant or king to display his immense wealth and intellectual sophistication. It was a philosophical instrument, a teaching tool, and a profound statement that the universe was not chaotic but an ordered, predictable system like the gears of a great clock. Sometime in the first century BC, this masterpiece was carefully packed, ready to be shipped from its Greek workshop, likely to a wealthy Roman buyer. It was placed aboard a Roman cargo ship alongside other priceless treasures of Greek art and culture on a routine voyage across the Mediterranean. But it would never reach its destination. A violent, unpredictable storm caught the ship, tossing it on massive waves and driving it towards the rocky shores of Antikythera. And there it lay, a silent testament to a lost world of genius. Its incredible secret sinking into the darkness, waiting for 2,000 years to be rediscovered. Chapter 4. The Lost Knowledge So this is the Antikythera mechanism a portable, mechanical cosmos. A working analog computer conceived and built in the ancient world, but its very existence presents a stunning and deeply unsettling problem. The next time a device of similar mechanical complexity appeared in history was over 1400 years later, a gap in the history of technology so vast it defies easy explanation, a great intellectual amnesia. So what happened? Perhaps the world changed. The rise of the Roman Empire valued pragmatic engineering for its armies over the theoretical science of the Greeks. Perhaps knowledge itself was lost in the burning of great centers of learning like the Library of Alexandria. Countless ancient texts, the instruction manuals for this lost world, turned to ash. We will never know how many other incredible inventions, how many other echoes of genius vanished forever in those flames. The classical world, with its unique focus on rational inquiry and mechanical philosophy, slowly faded into the past, and the knowledge that did survive was often preserved, but not always understood by the patient scribes of the ages that followed. The Antikythera mechanism is a ghost from that forgotten world. A silent rebuke to our modern assumption that progress is a straight, unbroken line. It forces us to ask a humbling question. What other marvels have been lost to the silence of history, still waiting to be rediscovered? But its echo did, eventually, re-emerge. The principles of intricate clockwork reappeared in the great cathedrals of medieval Europe. That knowledge led to the complex calculating machines of the Industrial Revolution, and ultimately, to the digital computers that define our modern world. The mechanism was the first distant whisper of the age to come. Today, we look at the same stars the ancient Greeks did, but with instruments of unimaginable power and precision. We calculate the orbits of the planets not with brass gears, but with supercomputers. Yet the fundamental human desire to understand the cosmos remains unchanged. And so we return to the object itself, no longer a worthless rock, but one of the most valuable and important artifacts on Earth. It is a message in a bottle across to millennia a testament to a lost age of brilliance, and a profound warning about the fragility of knowledge, a story that began with a violent storm and the simple courage of a handful of Greek sponge divers who stumbled upon a ghost. And while we may never know for certain whose hands crafted this masterpiece, be it Archimedes, Hipparchus, or some other forgotten genius, the Antikythera mechanism serves as a powerful and humbling reminder that we are not the first technological civilization, and that the echoes of genius can be found in the most unexpected of places.